Hi friends, welcome back for Children's Chapel. Today is the 18th Sunday after Pentecost or the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And so if you have your church calendar, you can color in the 18th Sunday square green. All right, today is also a very special day in the church. Oftentimes throughout the year, we celebrate various people of faith and who believe in God and showed others how to believe in God. And today is one of those special days. October 4th, we celebrate St. Francis of Assisi. And you will find out a little bit more about him in our story today. We're gonna kind of take a little break from Moses and the Israelites to talk about St. Francis since today is St. Francis Day. So yeah, we will get started and we are going to light the candle like we always do. And so you can say it with me. And if you have a candle at home, you can light your candle too. Why do we light the candle? To remind us that God is with us. All right, next we are going to move into our time of prayer. And so we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together, but first we have to quiet our bodies and our minds. And so we're going to put our hands in the air. I'm going to ring the singing bowl and we're going to listen to the sound. And when we can't hear the sound anymore, we're going to pray together. We're going to put our hands down and then pray together. So hands up. Nope, you know what? I'm going to give that another little try here. Hands up. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, next we're going to do our song and so here's Jimmy with the same song we've been singing the last couple weeks. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices, let us sing. Alleluia. Great job, everybody. We're going to learn a new song next week. All right, next we're going to move into our ritual of water. And so for this, you will need a small bowl, maybe a towel to dry your hands off, and a little cup of water. So we're going to pour the water into the bowl to remind us of our baptism. And at our baptism, God says God loves us. And so this is our reminder of that moment when God said, God loves us. God loves us all the time. So I want, I invite you to touch the water and say, God loves me. All right. And anybody else who's with you that's watching this video should touch the water too and say, God loves me. And then what I would like you to do is look at each other and say, God loves you. Cause it's important to remember that God loves me and that God loves you. All right. And so that's what happens during our baptism. And so that's what we remember each Sunday when we do our ritual of water. Okay, now we're going to read our story. And again, our story today is about St. Francis. So we're gonna learn a few things about him. St. Francis of Assisi. This is St. Francis. You may hear people call him St. Francis of Assisi. He was born in Assisi, Italy in 1181 or 1182. Francis loved God. 
As a young man, Francis joined the military. He was a soldier. After a while, Francis felt God calling him to a new way of life. He changed his ways, making his life simpler. He wore very plain clothes. Francis did not want to be distracted from God by fancy things. What might distract us from God? Francis went out by himself to pray. He wanted to understand God's plan for him. He realized that God wanted him to help rebuild the church. Francis knew that God's church was not just the building, but its people. Francis went into the town and told the people all about the way of life that God intended. Many people followed Francis and decided to live their lives for God the way that he did. The people who followed Francis's way of life are called Franciscans. Francis also loved all creatures. He called everything brother and sister because God had created them. It is said that sometimes Francis even talked to birds and animals about God's love. There is one story that says Francis saved a town from a wolf. He told the townspeople to feed the wolf so that it would not eat their animals. St. Francis was also the first person to recreate the scene at Jesus' birth. He wanted to help others remember this important moment. Many people and churches continue this tradition today. Do you keep this tradition at home or at church? Francis died in 1219. He was made a saint on July 15th, 1228, because his love of God is an example to us. We celebrate St. Francis each year on October 4th. Many churches include an animal blessing because of Francis's love for them. How can we be more like St. Francis? The end. All right. What a great story. St. Francis was a really interesting guy. He loved animals and he loved people and he loved God. And so he found a way to do that and show other people how to love God as well. And he even talked to animals about God. I mean, I don't know. So that's why we do usually do animal blessings on St. Francis Day and bring our animals to church and bless them. Um, and I'm sure many churches are doing various things like that this week. I know in our big service, we are going to show pictures of all of the animals in our community. So it's kind of fun. And, say, and the reason that we learn about saints and various people like St. Francis is because they are people who had a strong faith who can provide us with an example of how to be faithful and believe in God and love God. And so there are many saints, some that we know and some that we don't know and some that we learn about, but they're all examples of how to follow God and to love God and to love other people. And so it's important to learn more about those people who can be examples to us and follow the way of Jesus. All right, I think that's all we have today. So I'm gonna blow out the candle and we're gonna say goodbye. But remember, when we blow out the candle, that doesn't mean that God is no longer with us. The candle is just a reminder that God is with us during this special time, but God is always with us. All right, we're gonna blow out the candle. Bye friends, see you next week.